So those feelings of being broke, not being able to have the money, the resources, the freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it, it's depressing. It's sad. You feel you have a low confidence, low self-esteem. You don't believe in yourself. You know, when you're in those type of situations, you don't feel like you can come out of it. Even if you read a book, watch a video, hear some inspirational words, or you have people in your life telling you it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Just do the hard work. Just stay strong. Sometimes all of that goes in one ear and out the other. It's time to start the show. Welcome to Financially Free with Cleo podcast. I am your host, Cleo Childress, and this week we're going to be starting a five-part fear series. Yes, I said fear. F-E-A-R, fear. So I'm going to be sharing some of my fears, why they exist, what I'm doing to work through those fears, and how you can do the same. And some of us, we may share a lot of fears and we may not even realize it. Now, this idea was prompted from an experience I had in the morning meetup. So the morning meetup is a group of entrepreneurs and we basically come together every single day, Monday through Friday, about 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's a book club. There's so many great topics every day, every week. And a couple of weeks ago, David Shands, which is the creator of the morning meetup, he asked us about our fears, the, the book club, the book in the book club that we're reading is about fears. So he asked us to list three fears and interview them. Why do they exist? Where is it coming from? So that's why I wanted to do this five part fear series because I had to dig deep y'all and I wanted to share some of my fears, why they exist, what I'm doing to work through them. And this is to help you work through your own fears as well, because we won't really be able to live the life that we really want to live if we don't do anything about our fears, right? So part one, which is today, let me go ahead and share mine. So one of my fears is fear of being broke. You know, I don't like using the word broke anymore, but I'm using it for the point of this episode. So the fear of being broke, where does that come from? It comes from my struggles early on as an adult with money. So when I turned 18, you know, I started college. I got into student loan debt, a lot of student loan debt. And then I got a lot of credit cards. I got a lot of payday loans. I got cars, car loans, but then I had several cars that were repossessed. When I would get one car repossessed, I would get another one, barely could keep up with the car note, and I would end up getting it repossessed again. I got about three to four car repossessions on my record, you know, throughout my life. And then I had personal loans. I was always paying my bills late. Like, you know, your basic living expenses like rent, utilities, you know, your water bill, electricity bill, phone bill, always paying bills late. Just just a mess, right? And it led to my wages getting garnished. It led to me being evicted, living paycheck to paycheck. It was just terrible. So those feelings of being broke, not being able to have the money, the resources, the freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it, it's depressing. It's sad. You feel you have a low confidence, low self-esteem. You don't believe in yourself. You know, when you're in those type of situations, you don't feel like you can come out of it. Even if you read a book, watch a video, hear some inspirational words, or you have people in your life telling you it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Just do the hard work. Just stay strong. Sometimes all of that goes in one ear and out the other. But eventually you get to a point where you're like, you know what? I'm really going to start taking some type of action. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, if you're still struggling managing your money, you need to join me in the Daily Money Habits text community. Sometimes when we're trying to level up in our finances, we can get overwhelmed and not do anything at all. And then other times we start and we fall off track real quick. And I want to help you stay focused. So in the Daily Money Habits text community, you will get a text from me every single day with a financial affirmation to help empower you and help push you forward through this journey. 
And the second thing is an action step. Me telling you exactly what you need to do every single day to reach those money goals. And you'll also get monthly financial workshops so you can continue on this education and helping you take action on all of this information that you are receiving. So text MONEY HABITS, all caps, to 615-813-4827. It is a paid community. It's $37 a month. But hey, we got to invest in ourselves, right? If we want to see real results. So I will see you in the daily MONEY HABITS text community. Because me thinking about being broke is not helping me. I clearly need to change my mindset and think differently. That's where it starts. Thinking differently, shifting your mindset about it. So what I'm doing to work on my fear of being broke again, like I'm not broke right now, but I used to be broke. <laughs> I used to be broke. And even though I have paid off over $60,000 worth of debt, you know, I've, you know, tripled my income, you know, multiple times. I've had all of these wins, small and big wins. I've been able to travel to a lot of places. I've relocated and lived in multiple cities, got to meet great people, get a lot of great work experience, um, working for other companies, working for myself. So I'm very proud of my journey. You know, I'm very proud of myself. But there's still this part of me that has that fear of going back to where I used to be. Because we all know, it doesn't matter what level of success we reach, anything could happen to change your whole world. And I have a part of me that hopes I don't go back there. I have a fear of going back to being broke. So what I'm doing, y'all, to work through those feelings is to be grateful for my journey, meaning not criticizing myself about the financial mistakes I made in the past, not wishing that it didn't happen, not wishing I had somebody else's life, me just being grateful for everything that I experienced, good and bad, and then also making sure I'm continuing to learn and grow. You know, I know a lot about money, but I'm not perfect and I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything, right? So I'm just taking the time to uh, grow and learn. So I'm reading books on a regular basis. I'm talking, I'm connecting with other people who I can learn from, who know more than me, that can teach me some things. But then I'm also doing the consistent work every day. I'm budgeting every day. I'm following a budget. I'm tracking my income and expenses. I'm still paying off debt. I have my student loans. Is this, this one last big debt that I'm that's on my list to get rid of. So I'm consistently paying off my student loans because I want to get rid of it. So I'm just trying to make sure that I continue to earn income to receive money in my life. I'm continuing to elevate my mindset. That way I'm not sitting in those negative feelings because if you keep sitting down thinking, oh, I hope I'm not broke or I don't want to be broke, you're going to start picking up habits that's going to take you back there. And that's not where I want to be. So I want to ask you, do you have any fears around money? Do you fear being broke too? If you're currently broke, do you fear staying broke? Or if you used to be broke, do you fear being broke again? Do you have that fear? Or do you have some other type of money fear? And I want you to start working through it as well. So be grateful for your journey. Think about what you've been through, what you've accomplished. Don't just think about your negative money decisions. I mean, think about them, acknowledge them, but ask yourself, what did I learn from it? What did I learn from it that's helping me today? That's something else that I'm doing is reflecting back on the negative decisions I've made, but what I learned from them and how can those lessons still help me today and doing the work. Make sure you're doing that budget. Make sure you're tracking your income and expenses, making sure you are setting yourself up where you can receive money whether you're working for yourself or you're working for another company. And also something else that I'm doing is sharing my story with other people because I know that's going to help someone else who may be in the situation that I used to be in. So I hope you stay tuned in next week for part two of this five part series so you can see what the next fear that I have and so we can challenge ourselves to push through our fears so we can elevate our lifestyle. I'll see you next week. You can be financially free.
Cleo.